Well, hello, hello, hello. It is Little Paulette without the gang. Um, this is my new YouTube channel. I used to have a couple of other channels. But now I'm going to start doing reviews on and bring awareness to black TV shows. Uh, not necessarily uh, reality shows, but some black TV shows that I think that everyone might enjoy watching. The first show I think I'm going to talk about is a show called Our Kind of People. It's one of my favorite shows on TV right now. It's dope as fuck. And uh, I'm loving to see a lot of black people with wealth and power. And I'm loving to see the star of the show come into her own. Um, the star of the show is Yaya DaCosta. And her name is Angela Vaughn. She comes um, from somewhere in Boston. And uh, she's going to be going to... Her mother died, Eva Vaughn. Her mother died and left her a building that she didn't know about in a place that her mother used to work at when, when she was alive. Angela, her daughter Nikki, and her aunt Piggy end up driving back, driving to this place. And Piggy used to come there with her sister. Piggy is Eva's sister, Evelyn, which is also Eva. Her sister, Piggy is Debbie Morgan or Angie from All My Children. And she is Aunt Piggy, and she's Angela's aunt, and Angela's daughter's name is Nikki. I think I already said that. They're driving here because, they're driving to Martha's Vineyard because that's where the mother left the house at. Um, they also are going to scatter her ashes. So, I think the show is dope. She's going to run into a lot of elite black people, and uh, you can only hmm. guess what's going to happen. Okay? <laughs> Angela is um, a hairdresser, just like her mom. Her mom was a hairdresser before she passed away. Angela is actually a natural hairdresser, and she is super duper duper dope. Um, they're gonna show some dope ass hairstyles that Angela gonna do and all that shit, and we're gonna talk about them. But anyway, Angela came there to do a pop up shop in honor of her mother and scatter her ashes. And she's they go to the beach. Aunt Piggy, Angela, and the daughter, and they, the daughter never been in the water before, and her and Angela in the water, they having a good ass time, and, you know, Angela start crying, of course, because it reminds her of her mom, so she starts crying, and Piggy say, no, you came here just to do what you're supposed to do, what your mother wanted you to do, etc., giving her that pep talk. Meanwhile, you got the other family, which is the DuPont hyphen Franklin family. They're rich, like wealthy. We got the daughter, Leah, her husband, Raymond DuPont, and they have two children, Lauren and, hmm, what's the son's name? Quincy, Lauren and Quincy, and I think Lauren and Quincy are twins. Yeah, Lauren and Quincy, they're twins. Their mother is Nadine Ellis, but on the show, her name is Leah DuPont Franklin, or Franklin, Leah Franklin DuPont. Her daddy is... Teddy Franklin, who was Papa Pope, if y'all know who I'm talking about, Papa Pope from Scandal. And trust me, he bringing Papa Pope all up in here. All up in here. Okay? So, yeah, Papa Pope, he ain't no joke. He's wealthy. He's evil. He's elite. All that shit you think about. You think about rich people. It's him. Okay? And um, Leah and her husband, Raymond, which is Morris Chestnut. Yep, Morris Chestnut. Um, Raymond DuPont, uh, they're telling their, they arriving in a private jet in the beginning, but they're telling their kids, we don't floor our money. Uh, Raymond's mother, oh, she's a super bitch too. Um, what's her name? Olivia, Mama Olivia DuPont. Um, she's there to greet them when they get off the, uh, private jet while, uh, Leah and Raymond are, you know, kind of scolding the kids about flaunting their money they basically on instagram just being like regular kids but with money showing off what they got and mama leah tells them that they do punts and franklin's and they have she has a high expectation for them and don't ever forget it so uh angela's mother uh evelyn left her an old boarding house where she used to do hair and stuff angela is going Excuse my grandson. Angela is uh, arri arrives there with Aunt Picky and her daughter, and they can't believe, like, this shit is ours. And, like, my mother never told me about this. 
Angela believes that the reason her mother never told her is because she wanted her to come there and find out what happened to her. Because you know some shit went down, right? You know it did. Angela's mother, Eva, never told Eva, um, told Angela who her father was or even told Aunt Piggy his name. So Angela is determined to find out who her father is as well. Hmm. Well, y'all know that's going to be something, right? Can you guess who her father is yet? <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. But I ain't going to tell you. Next thing you know, they show this flashback of Angela looking like she about seven or eight sitting on her mother, sitting between her mother's leg getting her hair done because she can ready to meet her father. And Angela asked her mother, why haven't I ever met him before? And she said, oh, he was getting things ready for us. Mm. And she thought, or she told Angela that we're going to live like a real family in a real castle on the water. Then the ninja had the nerve to show up with an envelope full of money. And she said, you made me be quiet. Now you want to pay me off? She told that ninja, get the hell out of here before I beat the black off your ass. Now, meanwhile, little Angela can only see him from the back. She might have seen the front, but I think she only seen the side of him. She seen him from the back. And she runs outside after him. Daddy, daddy, like any little girl would. Angela saw him get in the car, but again, she can only see him from the side, crying, really upset, and it kind of cut off to that theme song that I just played for you, which I love. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to uh, let you hear the theme song. Oh, when Nikki left her last school, which now they moving here, uh, she had beat the brakes off some girl that was on videotape, and she caught a case, basically. So now you know her mother on her to do right. Angela, like, I want to create some generational wealth up in here. I want to make sure for you, your kids, if you want them, I want to try to get you in Jack and Jill. Nikki, like, please. Them kids been friends since they was three years old. They ain't trying to let my outside ass with no money up in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Angela told Nikki, you are everything. Anybody I want to hang out with you. These people can help us, just give them a, just try to give them a chance. Let's think positive so we can get in good on this good-ish. You know what I'm saying? Nikki was like, shoot, Ma, I'm down with it. I know you always got to hustle. What, what's your plan? What, what you want to do? She's like, a matter of fact, I just got us invited to a party. So you know where the party going to be at, right? With the rich people, the DuPonts and the Franklins. Yup, and I mean... I'm not even going to call them rich no more. They are just wealthy. Generational wealth, okay? And let me tell you something. Raymond DuPont, which is Morris Chestnut, he loved his wife. And I love the way he tells her, you are the baddest woman at this party. My husband talks to me the same way, so I don't have no problem with that. I love it. I love it when a man big his wife up, make her feel like she is the shit, even when she feeling like, ugh. Y'all ladies know what I'm talking about. Leah is uh, trying to take over this black social club called the Gray Cities that her mother used to run, but now her husband's mother runs, okay? And they are a bunch of snobs. They're supposed to be supposed to be uplifting black people, but they do, but a lot of them are still black snobs. Yes, yeah, so Angela has a friend named Josephine there, Raven Goodwine, with her beautiful ass. Yeah, she's uh, Angela's friend. She's the one that invited them to the party. Angela, Nikki, and Aunt Piggy come in there looking all good. Everybody on here look good, though, y'all. I ain't even lying. Everybody look good. Little Miss Nikki goes over to the bar, and she like, can I get a club soda or something? And guess what? She runs into one of the twins, the boy twin. Quinn, Quincy, and she orders a club soda, and he's like, yeah, these parties are, like, they kind of corny if they not, you not lit. He changed her shit to vodka. Bartender's like, coming right up, Mr. DuPont. Okay? You know, and he a little boy, okay? Oh, it's like your party. 
Then his twin sister, Lauren, who was very rude and snobby, just comes right in the middle, like stands in the middle of them talking. And it's like, hello, we're supposed to be taking this picture. But she comes with her best friend. And I'm doing that in quotation marks. Y'all can't see me. Her best friend. Um, damn, I can't even think of her name right now. But the best friend is like uh, watching her, looking her up and down. Like that was really, really rude. Yeah, her name is Taylor. And she like, you being rude. I'm Taylor. You know what I'm saying? She looks like she might be part of the LBTQ. I don't know what the letters are. But you know what I'm talking about. And right in the middle of uh, Lauren introducing herself to the brother and Taylor, this whole Lauren going to say, I'm sorry, not Lauren, Nikki introducing herself to um, Taylor and her bro and Lauren's brother. She just going to bust out and start talking. Are we taking this picture or what? Still being rude. But you know what? Nikki got something for that. But she says something like, I guess they don't teach manners in a sunken place. And of course, Taylor and Quincy started laughing. And she turned around just giving her the stank face. Yeah, they started cracking up. So Taylor ended up inviting uh, Lauren to a party on the dock the next night at 9 o'clock. So uh, this is going to be the end of part one. I'll be back with part two. Tell me what y'all think about it. Please like, subscribe, and um, comment. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me if you like this show, if you already watched it. I know it's already came on and everything, but a lot of people aren't even aware of it. So I just want to bring awareness to this show because I really, really like it. And it's a black elite show. It don't have all that you know craziness going on that we talk about every day. So it's just something different to talk about. All right? Like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all. Have a good one.